Hello everyone and happy Monday. It is time for another episode of Mark's Monday Minutes in Portland Real Estate and it is the week of July 31st, the last Monday in July. Wanted to bring to you the three points that I see this week from the numbers so you can take away and those three points are, first of all, we have likely hit the high point of pricing for homes newly on the market. From here, they'll trend on down. Second point is, there's still absolutely enough buyer demand out there to maintain prices where they are. We're not gonna see them drop down. And finally, third, our third point is that the employment and job numbers are gonna be out this week. We expect they're gonna be right where they, you know, should be right where they expect, shouldn't make any changes. As a result, economic indicators say that things are just gonna continue chugging along. All right, let's go ahead and get into the numbers. First of all, the number of active listings this week is up just a whopping 22 homes from last week. We're up to 4,085. So as I've said before, we have hit that plateau of the top number of listings, the, no, the highest number of new listings we're likely to see probably right always at the end of July, maybe next week, next two weeks as we come into August. But from here on down, the number of overall listings should decline because face it, sellers who want and were prepared to sell their home would have put their home on in the spring or early summer. Those who have to sell will now put them on in the fall and the winter. So a little bit different dynamic, slightly different motivation and absolutely a decrease historically in the number of listings available as we head into the third and fourth quarter of the year. The number of new homes this week, 554, down from you know, just slightly up from 548 last week. The number of homes pending, right at the same, 495 homes pending in the last week in the entire Portland metro area. And the number of sold homes, 385. Right in queue with the number of homes that went pending with the fallout rate, just right there where we expect. Now, the number of homes with a price adjustment, we are maintaining steady at 26.5%. We were at 27.2% the week before that, 26.3%. we are just holding at that 26 to 27% rate. Compare this with 34% nationally. Portland seems to be still a popular lo location to sell homes, to purchase homes, and still ahead of national trends, if you will. It's just ever so slightly. Number of sold homes in the last 30 days, 1,796, giving us a supply of roughly 2.27 or 2.3 months worth of inventory. We've been bouncing in this 2.3 to 2.5 months of inventory for the last 30 days. So once again, everything's sort of an even keel. The number of coming soon homes, this bumped up to 55. I think this is a precursor of some homes that will be coming on the market in the next 21 days. So this is probably the last batch of homes that will come to the market by sellers choosing to put their homes on the market. Again, some opportunity here for the next couple of weeks and then we'll start to drop thereafter. Now, let's talk about the four car garage homes. There are a total of 118 homes in the Portland market with a four car garage or larger, of which 35 are down below a million dollars, as we call those the affordable garage homes. Five new homes this week, two of which are in that affordable category below a million dollars. Nine homes went pending this week, six of which were under a million. So a few buyers saw the opportunity and found those homes, which is what I find. Guess what? We got one under contract. That's what we do. The number of sold homes in the last week, four, three of which were under a million dollars. So there have been some opportunities for buyers for garage homes under a million dollars. You too can have this opportunity. Talk to me. I can help you find those homes. I know how to sell them. I know how to purchase them. I'm your garage specialist since 2006. One of the longest running in this country, the longest I can find. Haven't seen any others. Although copied and imitated later, still the original one around. All right, the number of pending homes, let's see, sold homes, sold homes with four car garage in the last month, 25 of which 15 were under a million dollars, so a good supply. We have about two and a two, once again, 2.3 months worth of supply of those affordable garage homes and about 4.7 months of supply of homes over a million dollars with a four car garage. But again, this is in that million dollar seven figure plus range. Those homes often do take many more months to sell than your typical or average home. Now, we'll talk about those three takeaways. First of all, we have likely hit the point, uh, the high point of prices. That is correct. New listings that come, coming, I'll rephrase that. Listings that now come to market as a new listing, not necessarily a new home, although new construction prices are still maintained. Going forward, new listings on the market overall price will tend to be a bit more conservative. They'll start to drop down. 
Why is that? Again, these are sellers who are motivated. If they're listening to an experienced agent, we're gonna advise that you price a little bit under so that we can drive the price up based on market demand. The, mo the greatest demand of summer was here. It was back in June and July, and now it will decrease as fewer buyers are looking based on the seasonality. Select buyers can be motivated, no question about that, regardless of the time of year. But in particular, just the overall trends as we'll see prices start to creep down. Now, this, this just doesn't mean that the values drop. It's just that the listings of new, list, the price of new listings come on the market. And frankly, buyers have already adjusted to this. This brings us to point number two, is the fact that there is still enough buyer, to sustain, buyer demand to sustain prices. Buyers have already adjusted to interest rates in the high sixes and right at 7%, and they're still buying homes at the rate of new homes coming on the market is equal to the homes selling on the market. So 25% of homes in Portland are still going pending the first weekend, regardless of the location. And we're seeing maybe 20, well, as I said, 26% have had a price adjustment after maybe 90 days. So we're, once again, settling down in a fairly normal, straightforward market. The third point, the last one is, again, the economic indicators are coming out later this week, both in both the uh, jobs report and, um, I'm sorry, employment and jobs report. They're gonna come out, they expect them to be, in a fair, again, at a fairly normal rate. There should be no further pressure this year for the feds to change or adjust interest rates upward, which is good. We're ready to see them come down. So interest rates, inflation comes down. That would be good, although it's probably not gonna happen. Once we see normal indicators come out, yes, mortgage rates should begin to drop slightly, and then you're probably gonna see a bump in pending sales within the 30 days thereafter. So we're still gonna see a good strong market here at least through the end of next month through August and probably into the middle of September. And then we'll truly start to see numbers drop off in a demonstrable way. All right, that's it for this week. Have yourself a wonderful week. We'll see you next week. It will be the month of August. We'll see you then.